Tonight, people in St. Paul are remembering a towering figure in the city's history. George Latimer, the longest serving mayor of St. Paul, died Sunday at 89 years old. For the future of our city. George Latimer served as St. Paul's mayor from 1976 to 1990, overseeing a transformational time for the city. His mark can still be seen all around St. Paul. Latimer's being remembered for redeveloping the downtown core. One, two, three. Major projects include the 38-story Wells Fargo Place, the Ordway Center for the Performing Arts, and revitalizing the Lower Town neighborhood. The significance is what's going to replace it, which is a, a whole new hub of people activity uh, in a part of our downtown that had been half uh, vacant before. Many say Latimer was a visionary who was ahead of the trends. Another one of his major accomplishments was creating district energy. Thousands of pipes like this will be laid throughout St. Paul for the much heralded hot water district heating system. The system provides energy to downtown St. Paul and the west side neighborhood. One of the first to go online will be the St. Paul Hotel. His vision of making St. Paul a green city was decades ahead of its time. And we will be uh, developing a system which, should other energy sources be developed, can be adapted to either coal or to burning of garbage or to briquettes or to solar or to whatever the future may hold. You can see a fitting tribute to Latimer in the heart of St. Paul today. In 2014, the city's central library was renamed in his honor, a symbol of his lasting legacy. In 1986, George Latimer unsuccessfully sought the DFL nomination for governor, losing the primary to incumbent Rudy Purpich. In a post on social media, current St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter reflected on Latimer's death, saying, his passing is a profound loss for our community and personally. Mayor Latimer recognized that a city is more than its buildings and streets. It's about the people who call it home. Funeral arrangements have not yet been set.